I grew up just a few miles down the road from Barton Moss. My family still live there, my two nieces still live there. In September last year, we heard in a national newspaper that IGAS were about to come and start exploratory drilling. Nobody's informed us, nobody's consulted us, and nobody asked us if this is what we wanted. IGAS held a public open day here. They hadn't told anybody. We found out by accident. They'd leafleted, they said, within a mile. I've still yet to find anybody who knew this was happening. I asked IGAS, how many wells will it need? They refused to answer. They kept saying, we don't know until we've drilled. And throughout this campaign, this is all we've had from this, from this industry. We've had smoke and mirrors tactics. We've had them greenwashing. They won't give us a real advice. We've gone to our local MPs, we've gone to our council, we've got 3,000 people to sign a petition to get the council to actually discuss this with us because they'd already granted a licence to IGAS. When people turned up to that meeting, the council refused to discuss it, even though the 3,000 signature means they're meant to. And what we realised from the very beginning was we're on our own. So we got together and we said, right, me and a few friends said, right, we've just got to do something. So. After work, we'd go knocking on people's doors in the area close to Barton Moss. And we found that 80% of people in the local areas of Barton Moss do not want the fracking industry near them. At Barton Moss, people have come, they've come, people who've never been on a protest are there on the front line. They just want to walk slowly in front of trucks and show that they don't agree with this industry. And what they've been met with is a violent and brutal police force, a political police force who have put out press releases that have slammed us, that have told lies about us. And it's just been atrocious. But good has come out of this, because what we found is now, we know we're on our own, but we've united our community. And this is it, like, this is the time when people, we think people are gonna, in this country are gonna stand up and fight this industry.